Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology forecast for April 20 to 27, 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect us all, all zodiac signs, and are sort of the heavenly soup that we're swimming in at the moment and how to better address those energies in our lives. So, how is the sky treating you? We're coming into a very... Um, sensitive time in regards to our most intimate relationships with the loved ones in our lives with our families and as from friday the 19th it's a great time to talk about things to talk about things intimately and sensitively and try to heal things and bridge gaps that have been there for a while and maybe address old wounds <coughs> address and dress old wounds it is certainly a time that we need to be more sensitive regarding how we state things and what we say both to ourselves and our heads and hearts and both to others around us as Mercury is conjunct Chiron in the sky and Venus is heading into a conjunction with Chiron later this week. It is a time to be more watchful of our hygiene and health um, generally physically, emotionally, mentally, and especially with what we do, what we create, who we are, and the relationships we have with love and with our children. As Hygieia, the goddess of hygiene and health, is conjunct the sun in the beginning or through the weekend. Saturday the 20th would be the exact conjunction. On that day, the sun would ingress into the sign of Taurus. Happy birthday, all you Taurians. Uh, this is a time that we could be more in touch with our five senses, eating, drinking, and just enjoying being in a physical plane. Sensuality is heightened at that time, and Venus, the planet that is ruled by, uh, uh, that rules Taurus, Venus is moving into the sign of Aries. So all our need for sensory satisfaction could be more immediate and childlike. We can take more initiative and be more entrepreneurs, uh, have a, a more entrepreneurial spirit when it comes to uh, getting what we want and feel that we need. It's a good time to go out to nature uh, this weekend and also to be involved with any activity that deals with spirit or with art. Creativity could be heightened and Generally speaking, Saturday and Sundays are great days. Great days to rekindle that sense of inner strength. Great times to actually seed seeds that would prove useful over time, that would have strategic value for you, or being with loved family, with older people, or with strong, powerful people that you know. It could be beneficial for your own satisfaction just for your feeling of well-being or even in monetary terms in terms of value and just enjoying food and drink together it could be a lot of fun on Saturday the 20th and Sunday the 21st as well um, Monday the 22nd is good for communication but when is it, as it draws on that day becomes more aggressive and we need to watch our tempers more and to watch our tolerance more and the 23rd is the exact conjunction of Venus and Chiron it's a sensitive time within relationships it is also the exact conjunction of the Sun and Uranus we don't have a lot of patience at that time this is truly a time to do things in a new way to innovate to think outside the box to allow yourselves to be flexible and don't get aggravated if people don't follow you as fast as you would like them to. This is a time we need to be careful from throwing away babies with bath waters. But again, new, the new can knock on our door and come into our life. And we need to be open enough and flexible enough to allow it in. And the moon is going to conjunct Jupiter on that day, the 23rd. It's a lucky time. It's a time that more wisdom and 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 truth personal truth authentic truth that we can identify with 
can flow into our lives. And then Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday could have this taste of an anticlimax. We'd have to watch that. We'd have to watch our murmuring and dissatisfaction and how it affects us emotionally. We would need to remind ourselves that we're not in charge of everything, all-powerful, all-seeing, and we need to let go and float with things sometimes and understand that there is a space of time for everything. Maybe that space and time isn't right now. Um, it is especially relevant for us as Wednesday, Pluto would start going backwards, going in its retro retrograde motion, and we're having all the squares to the moon, and uh, later on the moon is going to be sieged, uh, to be besieged between Saturn and Pluto. This is really a time that we need to be careful not to be too harsh judges of ourselves of, or of others, and don't help drama light up and flare up in your life. When you are met with fire and flame, pour some water over it. Don't fight fire with fire. This is a time, especially on Saturday, we are having the exact square between uh, Mars and Neptune. This is a time that we need to be more watchful with um, accidents. A time that we need to be more watchful of a feeling of impotence of power failure within ourselves as well that we need to understand that we cannot and should not expect ourselves to take it all the way in 90% or 80% or 70% is much better than nothing and if you're going hiking if you're going out to nature it could be a great time but again don't push yourselves to extreme this is also a time that we could see more natural disasters like flooding or forest fires or, or, or uh, drownings, God forbid, and things like that. So just be more careful. Um, we are heading into a square between Juno, that, she, that is Hera, the wife of Zeus, the mother of the goddesses, the queen of the goddesses in charge of hearth and family and everything we are loyal to. And she's heading into a square with Chiron just beginning off next week. So, as I said, it's a sensitive time with relationships. And how you play it now could prove significant in two ways. First of all, cleansing karma that was there already. And secondly, not creating new ones. New occurrences that have further karma down the road. So, on that optimistic note, um, if you want to join our English uh, advanced class let me know we're looking for people to join and I'm hoping you're going to have a merry happy gay uh, uh, spring and Easter and Passover and any kind of holiday you are celebrating so thank you for listening may you live long and prosper bye bye